Today on Barely Homesteading, replacing a load-bearing wall with a beam. Hello everybody and welcome to Barely Homesteading. Lumberjack here and today we are going to be working on another indoor project on our new home and this time we are down in the basement and we are going to take out a wall. So this room and our family room we want to connect them together with a large opening. So we're going to take out this door and we're going to take out this section of wall and put in a beam as this is a load bearing wall. The reason we're going to do that is because we're going to get a wood stove installed over here and we want the uh, heat from that wood stove to be able to flow more evenly between the two rooms. We've actually wanted to connect these rooms together anyway and be able to pick up that heat from the various uh, cold air returns and get it throughout the rest of the house. So. First thing we need to do is, uh, we've already got the drywall off of this section of the wall. This section of the wall is where the wood stove is gonna go, so we're gonna take this drywall off as well. We're gonna reroute all of the wiring in this section of the wall, uh, take off the drywall on the other side, and then we are going to put in a temporary wall while we're taking this wall out and putting the beam in that will be the replacement uh, that will bear the load because as I said, this is a load bearing wall and so we've got a, a large beam that's gonna go in here to replace this wall. So let's get going. Now, this project is not for the faint of heart. Uh, this is a very extensive uh, remodel project. Uh, there is a lot that goes into this. So if you are not uh, very comfortable with carpentry and especially load calculations for replacing load bearing walls, uh, do not attempt this on your own. This is a very extensive project and if done incorrectly or if your beam is undersized uh, that you replace this with, you could have a structural failure of your home. So please uh, get some professional assistance if this is not something that you are qualified to do.
All right, so we've got all the drywall out. I've got wiring rerouted. Uh, some of it's just temporary for now until we get the beam in and then we will make it uh, the permanent connections. So now we're ready to get started on the actual replacement of the wall. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to build a temporary wall that we're gonna put in front of this to support the weight, because it's a load-bearing wall, while we're taking the old wall down and putting the beam in. All right, so we got our beam in and it went in pretty well. It's a little snug on that one side, uh, but we got it in. So now we're trying to put back everything. And so our first task is this cold air return. This cold air return is gonna be our primary way of getting the hot air that the wood stove generates up through the rest of the house. So I've come in and I've sealed the gaps so that we draw as much hot air in as we can. And uh, now we're going to cover this with sheet tin and seal it on this side of the wall as well. Again, trying to get as much heat pulled from that wood stove up into the rest of the house as possible.
So with the beam in, I'm thinking that I want to keep it exposed. And so we're going to polyurethane it to bring out the color and protect it a little bit. So this is part one of us getting ready for our wood stove installation. Join us next time where we talk about putting in another wall and hanging drywall, getting ready to put our tile in. So for Barely Homesteading, this is Lumberjack saying use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.